Hi friends, today we are going to see Mr. Manoj Lachwani. Come with the complaints during the midnight that is involuntary motion of the right leg, like a jerks, he complained. Until date, he, nobody's diagnosed what is the problem. The, when I examine and everything comes to know there is has some <coughs> compression at spinal cord at cervical level. So underwent an MRI and come to know there is a uh, cervical compressive myelopathy. So now you can come to know in cervical myelopathy is anterior, posterior, hemisexual, partial. It is one side partial, that means lateral, so right side getting affected more. Come to this case, the most of the cases were undergoing for surgery. But surgical of anterior approach and a lateral approach or posterior approach, till date none of the approach is giving a good result by systematic review of Cochrane's. Here we are going to treat, how are we going to treat? We promote the blood supply. Normally in spinal cord, what are the three factors to change? One factor is electro, uh, electrological changes. Second is active participation of the patient that called actively work with the task oriented exercise and the third one is called pharmacological. So as a physio and a chiron asked you, I can't go for enough pharmacological. So now you have the two motion of the one, it called integrated approaches. I'm going to align the cervical spine along with surface spinal stimulation. It, it was invented by Van in 2000. It worked amazingly with the spastic problem. So we are going to treat him in a two way. One is promote the blood supply at the spinal cord through class 4 laser and increase the excitation and control by surface spinal stimulation. And a third one is alignment of the neck. So here, how to align the neck? Is a compressive myelopathy as per, as per the international norms. It's a red flag. But in a control work with the precautionary, we can make a red flag to yellow flag. So for him, today I make in a neck position how much is. So I align and check it his position very nicely. The level is C5, C6. Right. So now I am going to just align. There is an C5 vertebra at the left side. In a control, without thrust, in a general and, and thrust. Fantastically we did. So what I did, I did increase the canal diameter. And with the flexion and rotational, and I maintain the neck in the neutral position to thrust, it will be the safest one. It will not affect even vertebral artery. So now we, we have to check how much the excitation of the knee hammer. Yeah, how much excitation of the knee? We can't just to take it the area. Just to take in the reflexes. You see, the too much of reflexes seen. So here. But his bubble bladder is very good. So that I will not refer to a case to an a surgery. But as for guidelines of surgical cases, but we don't have any sufficient evidences between the surgical and conservative management. So that I'm going with the conservative management with the three steps: alignment of the neck. Surface spinal stimulation to increase the excitation of spinal cord. Third, promote blood supply at the spinal level. Let's see the wonderful response. We are, we are treating many patients and getting good results. Thank you very much.